All right, so you wanna know how to get these cool fonts on your DJI OSD setup. Well, today we're gonna to go through that. We're gonna go through the Betaflight setup and we're also gonna show you how you can change the default fonts, which kind of suck, to these awesome fonts that you see right here. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is root and install the WTF firmware on your goggles and air unit for this to work. I'm gonna go ahead and assume you have that done already using this website here behind me. But if you haven't, I'll drop a link down to a video in the description where you can check out how to do that and get that set up. The next thing you'll need to do is wire up your air unit to one of the UARTs on your flight controller and enable that for MSP mode so it can communicate back and forth. Again, I'm gonna assume that you have that done already on your quad. Maybe you had that done in Betaflight 4.3 or earlier versions and now you're coming up to 4.4. So you can see on this quad, that is UART 5 here that I have that set to. And the change that we're gonna to need to implement here on Betaflight 4.4 is we're gonna have this new option down here, this VTX MSP bus plus display port. We're gonna go ahead and select that. From there, make sure you don't forget to hit the save and reboot button. So we'll do that. And at that point, we should be up and running. So from here, you're gonna be in the OSD tab. You can get your OSD set up. Betaflight 4.4 is working on another mode over here, video frame mode that will have HD mode here. So we'll have a wider screen display and you can actually dock some things on the side view. But this is the four x three setup on it. So you can move things if you're using the four x three mode in the DJI, uh, you know, the view spectrum there, then you can just put things right up to the edge, not all the way to the bottom row, but uh, to the all the way to the top and either way side by side. You can see this is how I have it set up. And I do have the four by three mode enabled in my goggles, not the 16 by nine. Mileage may vary a little bit if you have the 16 by nine. And obviously once that new view frame is up there, you would select that and then get the items positioned and it will be the full OSD that is all well and good to get the elements displayed, but you'll see they look kind of garbagey. The fonts are huge and big and it's, it's just not very good look. So how do we get that cool font on there? Well, it's pretty simple. I will drop a link down below in the video description to Sneaky FPV's Google Drive account, which you can see behind me right here. And you can see that he has fonts for the iNav, Betaflight, and Arju Pilot. So what we want to do for that is just click this drop down here and then just click download and that will make a zip file that you can see over here and we'll download it to your computer. After unzipping the files in that folder to a drive on your computer, you can see I have the Betaflight and iNav here. Now going into the Betaflight folder, you can see there's a couple versions you're working on and that might increase as things are going. Uh, but right here, the sphere uh, option is what I have chosen and seems, seems to work pretty well. So you literally just grab all four of these font files, copy those, and then this is my SD card that goes in to the DJI goggles themselves. Go ahead and paste that font at the root of the folder there and i already did that so i'm just going to hit skip but it has to be at the root so the this is the flash drive itself and put them right in here now if you're also using inav at the same time so you might want to go back into here grab the inav files um green font archive i don't know let's go to i guess the latest here and see what that looks like and then oh the sphere here as well so let's grab those and i'm going to grab that version the inav version you can see the file name is slightly different i'm going to copy that over here as well now when the firmware boots up if you look in the lower right hand side of the dji goggles it recognizes which firmware it is connecting to either inav or betaflight and then it will load the appropriate font files that you see right here that we put in there so that's how you can have the two different versions on there and of course Arduino pilot there as well if you want those so with that set up, you will see the overlay in your goggles. But when you look at the recordings of the DJI footage from the goggles, from the SD card in the goggles, you're not gonna see the overlay on top of that. So if you're not interested in getting the OSD over top of recording for YouTube or just your own enjoyment or something of that nature, then you're good, you're done here. But if you wanna have that recording be able to superimpose, and even if you don't wanna do it, I would still recommend doing this step because if you lose a quad, this will have the latitude, longitude information if you're doing GPS and things that you could do the overlay later to help you retrieve your, your lost uh, airplane or quadcopter. So I, I would do these steps even if you're not you know, superimposing it and post later uh, either way. It's very simple to do this one thing at least to, to get it to record the information. So as always, opening up Chrome or Windows Edge browsers, we're gonna to go to fpv.wtf, and then we're gonna get 
have our goggles plugged in, have them powered up. They should connect. If they're not connected, go ahead and hit connect. You did the routing already. You did installing the firmware, so it's the same thing. Once you're all set up there, we're gonna go into the CLI. Now in the CLI, we're gonna need to copy and paste these two commands in there, and that will uh, enable this to uh, write an OSD kind of file. So I will put, you know, again, that these down in the video description, just copy this first piece of text and you saw I just right clicked on here and hit paste. After that's pasted in here, go ahead and hit enter. The next one you want to do is actually apply those changes. So it didn't do anything until we actually apply those. So paste it again and hit enter. And then that will go ahead and, you know, this is the command itself, enable recording of the MSP OSD, and then this is actually applying it to actually do it. From there, you're good to go. You can exit the CLI and disconnect your goggles. Now at this point, what you will see after you do a flight with this on there is you will start to see these OSD file texts show up down here, these little file types, OSD file types. So you'll have your recording, the DVR recording, you'll still have the SRT file as always, and then you'll start to see this OSD file show up here. That OSD file is what contains all the OSD information. Now, if you wanna get that overlaid onto your DVR, I will drop a link down to this site. This is the development page right up here that the WTF uh, developers are using. And so this will eventually be on their homepage as well. So if I go to here and then hit home, but in this version of it, the development one, which again, it will get rolled out onto the main one eventually, so you won't need this special link, you will see this OSD overlay screen. Going into the OSD overlay screen, it's as simple as we hit choose. And this, again, you need to be using Chrome or Windows Edge here. We're going to browse out and select our file that we want to overlay the image on. So you can see I'm going right off my SD card here and getting the 168 uh, flight. I'm going to choose here again for the OSD file. Of course, again, grabbing the 168. So you guys, it's a corresponding one. And then the fonts files we need here as well. So again, going out and I have to grab the four font files. So I'm gonna go out to the OSD card and I want to overlay the beta flight one. So I guess technically you could check out the iNav ones this way. And then after you have those all there, uh, hit accept if that's still prompted there and then look for this start button down here and then go ahead and press that. You'll next be prompted with where do you wanna save the file? So I'll just save this right here, call it new or newt because I typed it wrong. And it will start to go through and then do the overlay and creating that new file. So you'll have the old file without the overlay and the new file with the overlay. Now, again, you may not be doing this every time, but it is surely nice to have those OSD files there for you. So if you do need to go back and you have a lost craft, you can do the overlay with it and use those latitude longitudes to figure out what you need. Okay, so hopefully you found that helpful on how to set it up to have canvas mode on your DJI goggles, how to have the nicer and cooler fonts, and then also how to set up to record and save and overlay that OSD onto your recordings. As always, thanks everybody. I hope this helps. We'll see you in the next one.